Hi everyone and welcome to Product of Thesics. I know it's been almost a year, however I'm back this time and hopefully I'll be back for good. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to like the video and support it, that would be very much appreciated. And yeah, for this video I'll be talking about my Commando Scorpion, why he should come back to MCU Spider-Man 4 as one of the main villains of course. Obviously many people already know this, my Commando pretty much wants to come back as MCU Scorpion. He's been protesting on Twitter to come back for years now, so it's only fair he gets his due, especially after Spider-Man Homecoming, which came out seven years ago. But yeah, so afterwards, Obviously, with uh, the MCU Spider-Man trilogy in high school, a lot has happened. Peter Parker has went to Europe, he literally teamed up with the Avengers, uh, saved the world, and of course in his last film had some multiverse shenanigans happen, where he met alternate versions of himself, Andrew and Toby, and of course faced villains from those universes. Many people, like myself, before it was announced, or should we say before it was spoiled, that Spider-Man No Way Home would be in fact a multiverse film. People thought that it would be more of street level. Essentially Peter having an identity crisis in the MCU and just basically trying to navigate his life while everyone still knows his identity as Spider-Man, how he was able to clear that up without any help from Doctor Strange's sorcery. But obviously none of that happened, Spider-Man No Way Home still turned out to be a fantastic film, but of course it didn't really change the fact that people like myself still wanted Scorpion to appear in a Spider-Man film. And hopefully he will, I think there's a good chance that he might actually appear in MCU Spider-Man 4, but of course we don't really know anything about that film so far, and if he does appear we don't even know if he's even going to have a massive role. So it's really really hard to tell but however I think there's a really really good chance that you know he might appear because I just can't imagine them saving him for MCU Spider-Man 5 and that would be a pretty ridiculous way if that's the case. Um, I think everyone will pretty much agree that that would be too much of a weight but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen hopefully he, he actually does appear but let's just say Sony and Marvel just comes out and just tells us yeah my commando is going to return in MCU Spider-Man 4 what type of role can he play well if he was going to appear I don't think he would be the main villain not saying that Scorpion as a character can't carry himself as a main villain I think he definitely can if given the proper type of treatment as well as the you know execution as well a great execution I think he could actually make a fantastic main villain I mean if Electro can, I don't see why Scorpion can't, especially when he's considered Spider-Man's equal in terms of power. Um, so, I mean, they have similar powers as well, like, you know, wall crawling, a type of sixth sense, superhuman strength, superhuman speed, and of course, basically a regular theme characters. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so uh, he definitely can make a fantastic main villain. I mean, he would already be up there based on physicality alone, but you still need him to have a reason to face Spider-Man. Luckily in the MCU, we actually do. If you remember back in Spider-Man Homecoming, when Peter was stopping the arms deal, he tried to stop the Vulture and of course his crew from selling weapons, which my commander's Matt Gargan was trying to buy. However, it basically went sideways. Vulture essentially hit Matt Gargan with a car, which of course it led to him hating Spider-Man instead because if it wasn't for him the Vulture wouldn't have shown up. The whole arm still wouldn't have gone sideways. He already has a reason not to mention which left him a scar right on his eye um, and he basically threatened to kill Spider-Man and even asked Adrian Toons for his identity however of course Adrian having that respect for Spider-Man he refused to give it to him. Which of course in my opinion is a valid enough reason especially if he's not going to be a main villain. However if he was going to be in a movie what type of role would he play especially if he's not going to be in the main villain so if he's not going to be the main villain then what role could he play i think he could probably play a similar type of role to the shocker in spider-man homecoming or even one of the other members of the sinister six um, or oh, sinister five should i say in spider-man uh, no way home basically like a side villain of sorts where he could pretty much um, team up with the main villain or work with the main villain to take down and even have several solo fights with Tom Holland Spider-Man as well, just to basically show not only how much more powerful he's gotten, but also how much stronger, faster, as well as how, how much of a better fighter he became overall, if he was to face someone with a similar type of abilities to his. So I would probably say so he would probably play a similar role to the Shaka, I think that's the best comparison, where the Shaka also had a one-on-one -on -one fight with Peter Parker nearing the end of the film. However, I don't think it will just be one fight, I think it will be several, especially if the main villain of MCU Spider-Man 4 is going to be Kingpin, then that is way more likely. As we all know, Kingpin doesn't really have any special powers. In the MCU, he seemed to be way more powerful than his Netflix counterpart. I mean, it's the same version. I mean, it's even canon that is the exact same version of the Kingpin. But of course, he's at the end of the day, as far as we still know, he is still a human being. 
it's just that he kind of got beefed up kind of like in the 616 comics where Kingpin is basically a really 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 strong guy um, however the reason why he gives Spider-Man a lot of trouble is because Spider-Man a lot of times just holds back and if he didn't then of course you know you would have a very similar situation to back in black <laughs> so if Kimpin is in fact the main villain in mcu spider-man then scorpion would more likely be the physical uh, threat to peter parker especially like I mentioned before he would be his equal and would be in the way of peter getting rid of the main threat of the film which of course Wilson Fisk and kind of similar to how Electro played that part in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics so it would probably be something similar to that and if that's the case Kimpin would more likely be the reason for Matt Gargan to become the Scorpion how he gets his powers at all even though J. Jonah Jameson is the reason Matt Gargan becomes the Scorpion in Marvel comics he still possibly could he can still fund it however there's also a good chance that they might give that role to Kimpin instead and in my opinion it kind of fits as well however if they are able to just give Matt Gargan a comic accurate origin story you know that's even better especially when we know how much this version of J. Jonah Jameson hates Spider-Man it would make a lot of sense for him to do that I think of any version of J. Jonah Jameson in live action I could definitely see this one doing it and if he were to appear in MCU Spider-Man 4 then I really 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 hope he doesn't die I really hope they don't kill him off especially if they do choose to create their own version of the Sinister Six in the MCU and um, we were very close with Spider-Man Homecoming but because that was just five villains and they didn't really do this in the six they definitely have a chance to do that in future films especially when the vulture is still alive i know that he's in morbius but we can ignore that <laughs> and uh yeah so if they choose to do a sinister six in the future it definitely could however they can't do that if they kill villains off assuming of course mysterio is still alive yeah so i definitely would say keep him alive heck he could even return in future films and just cause more problems for Spider-Man. It doesn't have to be in the Sinister Six. However, he could be an interesting reoccurring villain that could appear in future MCU Spider-Man films. And I wouldn't be opposed to that if done well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Scorpion must appear in MCU Spider-Man 4? And if so, why? However, if you have any ideas on what his story should be, definitely drop them down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to like this video to support it and subscribe to begin Protocol Phase 6.